Michael Phelps continues to add to his Olympic legacy. He won yep. another gold, 19 golds, 23 medals. Many consider him the greatest athlete of all time. Uh, I'm told you have strong feelings about this. It's just, it's the metrics. We can't say he has 19, no one else has 10, so clearly he's the greatest Olympian ever because they're playing by different rules. Michael Phelps races in eight different events in the Olympics, and he's been awesome. I'm not discounting Michael Phelps. I'm not hating on the great American swimmer. But let's just say, what if in the 100-yard dash or the 100-meter dash where Usain Bolt is dominant, he got to run it, and then they were like, hey, you can win another gold running it backwards. Then you can run a gold <laughs> skipping it. How many golds would Usain Bolt have? Because that's what Bolt, that's what Phelps gets to do. You can win in the 100 freestyle. You can win in the 100 backstroke. You can win in the 100 breaststroke. So the medal just saying 19 golds, he's the greatest ever. It's Do we say Jack Nicholas is a better all-time athlete than Michael Jordan? Well, he has 18 majors and Jordan has six rings. That would be absurd. It's right. like, well... He can win four a year, and Jordan could only win one. You know, Jason Whitlock made a point yesterday that I, th I thought was thought-provoking. He said everybody runs. To be the fastest man in the world. Any Ever. The fastest human being in the history of human beings is Usain Bolt. And he's, Jason Whitlock said, as a, an African-American, 70% of African-Americans don't swim. 50% of Americans don't swim. It's a niche sport. So it you're not competing against. I always said this about the Winter Olympics. I'm not impressed. I mean, don't get me wrong, you won. But unless your country has mountains, you do realize eight countries in America. Think about this, Nick. Oregon's got a mountain, California, Washington, Vermont, Colorado. All right, Utah maybe, and then you're, 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 you're running kinda, out. You're, you're kind of getting flat. <laughs> so it's like Winter Olympics, it's Germany, Austria, Switzerland. It, it's So I guess the argument with Phelps is, not only your argument, there's varying ways to win multiple, but most people don't swim or have access to pools as kids. And I just, I look at, I again, I, I think you can absolutely make the argument that Phelps is the greatest Olympian ever. Most accomplished. Ever. He's the, certainly the most accomplished, but I just don't think it can be a raw numbers. He has 19 golds. Like Carl Lewis. So Okay, so Michael Phelps has competed in 25 Olympic events. He's won gold 19 times. The math on that, so he wins gold 76% of the time. Carl Lewis competed in 10 won nine golds, one silver. So that's it. So if Carl Lewis could, if again he could run backwards, how many would he have had? So I, I just think it's apples and oranges. Carl to Lewis to me is the greatest Olympian of my life. He he won a gold medal in 1996 at the. I looked it up last night. I think his age. I think it was 35 years old, and he won the gold in the long jump. Do you know how bananas that is? The guy qualified for the Olympics in 1980, couldn't go because we didn't go. He qualifies and wins gold 16 years later. <laughs> I mean, it's just total insanity. Yeah. Like, And again, I think Phelps is awesome and it's a great story, but it's just swimmers are always going to have the most gold medals because they have the most opportunities to win gold medals. You know, I, I really think the most impressive – sport in the world like like football economically first of all most countries don't play it right like we play it and that's about it soccer's remarkable it doesn't economically dissuade anybody from playing it's the cheapest sport right you, you can need almost no equipment utter poverty right two soda cans and a volleyball that's partially inflated right <laughs> you can kick it around to be the best soccer country is remarkable to me because let's be honest about this stuff a lot of these sports economically skiing golf baseball football hockey hockey yeah yeah i mean it's so you're winning it's a niche sport